You know, I was just sitting here and I was reading my Bible and I was just wondering something that, uh, to the, the people in their own minds that think, uh, they're like number one, they're the greatest, whether it be the celebrity, the narcissist, the control freak. It made me start thinking about something. It takes me back to that passage in scripture where it says um, Jesus is giving the sermon and he's talking about the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And you know, this especially trend goes into like the people who are very and highly uh, narcissistic in their in their head and they don't realize it. That they think they're all that, like to bully people and everything. They're number one in their own eyes, or like a celebrity, or they have like a celebrity's mindset that uh, basically, I don't think they realize that. They may think they do and say they do, but they don't. You know why? Because the fruit doesn't show up in their life that Christ says we're supposed to have. There's no fruit in their lives. You know, the fruit doesn't show. But going back to the scripture, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And the people that think they're all that, and they're number one, and they're the greatest in their own eyes, and they're perfect, and they love to go and bully people, because they might not have the same statuses as they do. They might not have the same amount of money. They, uh, they might not have the same looks or whatever. People like that love to bully and treat people differently. But yet still call themselves Christians and all this stuff. They, The fruit doesn't show. Christ says, you're supposed to deny yourself and the fruit should be there. Or I would have to definitely question if you're even a Christian or not. Um, you know, it's just thinking about people like that. And that... Um, I would really have to question their walk with Christ and everything. And uh, another thing is, especially when it comes to narcissistic people, that the Bible does also talk about that manipulation is as witchcraft. Um, you know, so is rebellion and everything, but especially the manipulation part that they have, they like to do in their tactics, a narcissistic person or someone who's very highly sociopathic or... Has celebrity status, more money, rich, uh, business owner type person, mentality, CEO type people. People who love to envy it, try to envy other people or try to have so much more power over other people that, uh, think about it, those are going to be the people that will, Christ is going to deny first. That they never had a relationship with Christ. And, uh,. You know, it just made me think of people like that, especially people I've known before to do stuff like that. But like people that are barely also materialistic individuals that value material items over people. And though they might not say it, they do it within their actions because the fruit's going to show up and not about how you talk or anything, not about what comes out of your mouth, but it's about in your actions. If you really, truly have a walk with God. Because it's going to really show up on the day of judgment when God will see how we lived our lives. Not about what we spoke, but about how we put things into actions and how we, um, how we lived our lives as believers and as Christ followers, you know. And uh, so anyone who thinks they're above or above now and everything and and their mind thinks they're better than that person because of it. You think about it, does that person really have a have a real true genuine relationship with the Lord? Probably not. I mean, that doesn't sound like a true genuine relationship with the Lord. Not something God would want us to do. We're supposed to love each and every one. And, you know, these are the same types of people that use scripture and twist scripture to like, well, the Lord says we're supposed to 
have long suffering. So you're supposed to be around these people. You're supposed to be around these people because the Lord said it's supposed to be long suffering. Well, yeah, he did say that. But mainly the long suffering, I think, uh, it, it really falls in, you know, like the, the persecution aspects and everything. God never wanted us. Yeah, he did hang around sinners and told people to repent and everything. And wanted us to tell people to repent and live holy and live right. But those same people that use that scripture... If they're not living holy and they're they're uh, and living right, they 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 can't use that scripture twisted around because basically it's coming back on them as well. And so that right there, that scripture when it says long suffering, that really is more on the lines of like you know the persecution aspect and everything, or like being made fun of because you live for Christ, but not to use the Bible to beat people over the head of it just because you. Use scripture and twist scripture for your own self satisfaction and gain, but yet you can still treat people with bad, bully people, and do this and that. No, that is misleading using the Bible to mislead others, and that's totally twisting scripture to fit your own agenda. That's what that is. It's people who use scripture to not only bully people and to hurt people for their own self worth and gain, but, uh, they're, I mean, they're trying to gain stuff from it, and it's just, it's really appalling, sickening, and God does not want that. And that is not living a holy, holy and godly lifestyle, amen. Um, Christ would not want that. He wants us to, to treat others with kindness and open heart, to not do stuff like that. We're not supposed to uh, act like we're better or think we're better than anyone else, because we're not. Because everything is, at the end of the day, everything is level at the cross. Everything is level. I mean, Everyone meets Jesus because in the end, everyone puts their pants on the same way as every, as everyone does. We're all the same. Some people are smarter. Some people are not. Some people are more rich than others, have more money. Some people don't. Um, I don't know. Some people have better eyesight and some people have, don't have so better eyesight. Some people can speak in different languages. Other people can't. But we all have different personalities. God made us unique, but at the same time... We know we have different personalities and unique and the linings in our hands are different. Uh, we're still the same. We put it on our pants the same way. We all we all believe red, you know. But still no excuse to be using scripture to bully people and, and twisting and using things for your own self-satisfaction and gain like the narcissist does, the high-level status person does, uh, any any people, uh, celebrity status, whatever you want to call it. Um the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So anyone who who acts better, tries to act better, twists scriptures to bully other people just for their own agendas is not really living for the Lord at all. I don't care. They could talk and preach and everything all day that they wanted to. They could preach literally all day, but it wouldn't change the fact that they're not really living for God. And I do. God said, judge with righteous judgment you know and how you would do that is is the fruit there do you see fruit coming from the branches is there fruit because if there's no fruit then you can call that out judge with righteous judgment you know the lord did that and the lord especially did that with uh with the pharisees in the old testament he did do that so yeah judge with righteous judgment people nowadays say oh you can't judge dog god never judged well he judged um, you know, uh, test, uh, you know, we're supposed to test the spirits and everything, and we, uh, and if the fruit's not, uh, showing up, kindness, meekness, long-suffering, gentleness, um, being slow to anger, all those things that, uh, if the fruit is not showing up, then you would have to question, well, is this person even really a Christian or not? If they're using certain things uh, for their personal gain to fit their own agendas and and picking only certain things at the Bible that they like, like a buffet, I would have to really question and I would really call that person out on the things like, "Hey, why are you doing this? God, that's not in God's word." And you know, as Christians, we're supposed to have fruit. The fruit is supposed to be there because the fruit represents our walk with the Father and Jesus Christ. That's how you know that we're separate from this world. There has to be a change of the heart when walking and being with Jesus. Amen. Um, and you should be able to see that change because you know and see how that person's walking because you know that they're 
we are not of this world. We're only walking through. This world is only like a vapor. It's here one moment and then it's gone the next. We're only here for a second. So have the fruit to glorify God. And like I said through the other things, but yeah, it just made me think of that. The first shall be last. And the last shall be first. So think about that and think about those people like those high level status people, the narcissists, the sociopathic people, the people with, who even have more money think they're all that or people that are better. Just think of that and then think of that scripture and you'll know God um, um, meant that, you know. He did, so. Anyway, I just wanted to, it just made me think of that. So, anyway, God bless everyone, and I look forward to seeing everyone, brothers and sisters, in my next video. So, God bless everyone. Have a great night, in Jesus' name.